Welcome to Little Data Courses. You may have noticed that the reports in GA4 do look different, and some of them you'll need to set up. In this video, we'll show you how to set up the checkout behavior report in Google Analytics 4. First, you'll navigate to the GA4 homepage, and you'll scroll down to the Explore tab. Once you find the Explore tab, you're going to go ahead and click that plus sign, and you're going to create a new exploration. Now on this page, under the exploration name, you're gonna to wanna to change that to checkout behavior. Then you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and look at the technique on the right hand side. And instead of free form, you're gonna change that to funnel exploration. Go ahead and scroll down until you reach the steps and you're gonna to wanna to click in and edit that. And this is where we're gonna add the new funnel steps. Now for step one, you're gonna come in and name this contact information. And then you're gonna come over here and you're going to look for the event begin checkout. Now, one thing to note is these events are sorted alphabetically in case that makes it easier for you to find. Now from then you go ahead and click add step. Now for step two, you're gonna go ahead and name that shipping information. And then as the event, you're going to go ahead and select add shipping info. And then you're gonna go ahead and add another step. Now for step three, you're gonna to wanna to name this payment information. And you're going to go ahead and add a new event. You're gonna search for the events, and then you're gonna add, add payment info. Now our final step, step four, is gonna be renamed to the purchase. And then for that event, we're gonna be searching for the purchase event. Once you find that, you go ahead and select it. And then on the right-hand side, you're gonna see the apply button. Go ahead and click that. And there you have it. You have the checkout behavior report and you'll see the drop off between each step and the completion rate of each step. You'll find this again in the Explorer report. One thing to note about these custom reports is that they are created based on the account that is logged into GA4. If you're using your personal account, you'll need to share this with the people in your company. If you're using a shared login by everyone, they will all have access to this. Happy exploring.